Are you looking for a lens with superior optical quality, no color fringing, and bokeh to die for? This is the brand new Zeiss Otis ML 1.4 50mm lens. Now the Otis line has been around for a minute, but this ML 50mm is the first Otis lens built from the ground up for full frame mirrorless cameras. In this case for Canon RF, Nikon Z, and as well as Sony E-mount, which we have here. Now we only got hands on time with the 50mm, but Zeiss is also releasing an 85mm f1.4 Otis ML lens as well, which we're hoping to try out as well. Now the Otis lenses have been renowned for their image quality above all else, and I do mean all else. These lenses are an investment, they're hefty and premium build quality lenses, and they're strict manual focus only. They do not autofocus. In other words, these are not lenses you bring out for casual snapshots. They are lenses designed for intentional shooting where you are fully controlling every aspect of the image you capture. But covering the basics real quick, both lenses are full frame coverage primes with a maximum aperture of 1.4, giving you excellent low light performance and preposterously shallow depth of field. Focusing is smooth and extremely accurate with a minimum focusing distance of just half a meter and via a small screw near the mount, the aperture can also be clicked or declicked. Now, if you were familiar with the Otis lineup before, none of what I've said so far has been surprising, but if you're new to this lineup, then we have to discuss the aspherical lens elephant in the room. These are strictly manual lenses. That means they're gonna be great for subjects like portraits, landscapes, streets, still life, and product photography, less so for anything where your subject is moving quickly. But for those of you still with me, the Otis ML renders absolutely gorgeous images. It's an apochromatic lens and delivers that classic Zeiss look with minimal aberrations, almost no color fringing, and no distortion or loss in contrast, even when fully open up to that f1.4. The lens has an all-metal body and a 260-degree focus throw, which also makes it a great option for cinema applications. In fact, Zeiss even makes a custom lens gear ring just for this purpose. Now, physically, the lens is actually a little bit more compact than the previous versions, but it is still a hefty boy. It weighs a pound and a half, and it measures in at 3 by 3.9 inches. And like I said before, it is built like a tank. I can't recommend specifically using it to nail something in if you've misplaced your hammer, but you probably could. Now, additionally, Zeiss states that the 85mm Otis will have all the same imaging features, with the only major difference beyond the obvious difference in focal length being the physical size of the lens itself and the focusing range. So the proposition for the Zeiss Otis ML lenses is pretty straightforward. Can you trade autofocus and compactness for build quality and sheer optical performance? For a lot of portrait, still life, and product photographers, as well as a lot of cinema shooters, I think the answer is yes. And having the Otis line available for mirrorless camera users now is definitely going to be a big deal for them. But when I say them, does that include you? Will you be grabbing the Otis 50 or 85 millimeter ML? Let us know in the comments below. Seriously. We do read them. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.